episode, I want to show you running specific metrics that your smartwatch Garmin 4 Runner 965 will give you after you complete a running activity. So to show you this, I logged in to Garmin Connect website to my profile, selected specific activity, and here's the page that you can see with all the stats. So it was five kilometers run, you can see time, you can see average pace, and a bunch of cool graphs. Uh, we can scroll down to summary, and then we'll come back to, to the graphs. So distance. Uh, a fun nutrition fact is that it's probably more hydration fact that uh, estimated sweat loss was 386 milliliters. It reminds you to drink drink water and pay attention to hydration. Then stamina. Uh, it shows 100% at the beginning and then at one point almost no stamina. On this graph, you can you see? at about mid uh, mid run the thing is the pace did not drop at that point you can see that pace even increased to about 4 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer uh, while average pace was 4 minutes 38 seconds so the question is why does Garmin think there, there was no stamina anyway I'm not offended like it is what it is uh, it also shows potential stamina here. Uh, what's next? It shows training effect uh, primary benefit was VO2 max. And it also explains here, if you click, it explains effects. It, it says highly impacting VO2 max aerobic effect. And here you can read all the details. Now, uh, it shows average heart rate, max heart rate. It shows power, which if you click here, explains that power is measured based on running dynamics, uh, such as um, cadence, vertical oscillation, ground contact time. And it takes into, into account wind speed and direction, and also whether you run uphill or downhill. Uh, now, elevation, here you can see where I was cheating, because uh, total descent was 36 meters and total ascent was 17 meters. So if you deduct from this amount 36 minus 17, you, you will get 19 meters total uh, descent. And then average pace, and uh, here you can see uh, average grade adjusted pace. So it, it takes into account that uh, descent and uh, it says if not the descent then average pace would be 4 minutes 40 seconds and now we are at uh, interesting section called running dynamics a bunch of cool stats uh, average run cadence 164 steps per minute uh, I've heard that 180 is uh, an optimal cadence but on the other hand uh, I've heard that uh, for the runners with above average height uh, cadence uh, tends to be lower, and since I'm uh, six foot five, I think that my optimal cadence can be a bit lower. But uh, still, why not to pay attention? And uh, while you run, try to make more steps per minute to try to uh, make your run more efficient. Then average stride length, which is uh, length of two steps, or step with the left uh, foot and st plus step with the right foot, one thirty-two. So if you did that, did, uh, divide it by two, it's, it means average step was 66 centimeters. Average vertical ratio, uh, ratio it's uh, average vertical oscillation divided by average stride length. And uh, on, the, on the graphs, you can see how, how your stats compare to other Garmin users, for example, here. You can see uh, mostly in green zones and uh, once in um, this blue zone. And you, if you click here, you can see that uh, um, here, that's ab about average for all Garmin users. And blue zone is a little bit 
higher than that. What else? Average ground contact time here. And you can see the graph as well, how it changed during your run. So overall, that's all I wanted to show you for today. Those are running specific metrics that your smartwatch shows you.